Alright. Is it going? Yeah. All right. The squeamish boy fainted at the sight of blood. Bree, give me anything you want to tell me about that sentence. Anything at all. It's all yours. The squeamish boys, <clears throat> the, the subject. It is the complete the subject. Complete. Cooper, anything you want to share with me, sir? A uh, boy is the simple subject. Boy is the simple subject. Very good. Ethan. Fainted is the simple predicate. Very good. Emery. Anything you want to do? Squeamish is, squeamish is an adjective and it's describing boy. Excellent. Squeamish is an adjective describing the boy. Mia. Anything you want. The first thought in the sentence is an adjective describing a boy, and it's a definite article. It is an adjective describing boy, and it is also a definite article. We're not talking about just any boy, right? We're talking about the boy. Donnie. Okay. Fainted is a, an action verb. Fainted is an action verb. Very good. Ella, not here. Quinn. Boy is a common noun. Boy is a common noun. Very good. Hannah. Um, there is a preposition of blood. Of blood is a prepositional phrase. Phrase. Very good. Something else, Kale. Uh, it's a clause. What kind of clause? Is a independent. It is an independent clause. And we know this because it has what? One what, Kale? It has uh, one preposition or one subject and predicate. It has one subject, one predicate, and working together, right? Drew, whatever you want, my dear. It is a simple sentence. It is a simple sentence. Why? Because it has one clause. Because what? It has one clause. What kind of clause? A, sent a simple sentence is a sentence with one independent clause. Clara. Um, We already got the of blood, but yes, of is a preposition. Ashley. Um, what is the object of the preposition? Blood is the object of the preposition. Very good. Brooklyn. There is another prepositional phrase and it's adversary. Yes, very good. We have another prepositional phrase at the site. Yes. At is, yes, is the preposition. At is the preposition. And we're back to you, Bree. Dun, dun, dun. We've got a lot of words that aren't labeled, though. The, sight, blood, they're not labeled yet. Can't think of anything? Okay, what part of speech is blood? It's a thing. All prepositional phrases end with a noun or a pronoun. What one is blood? Is it a noun or a pronoun? Mm -hmm. Common or proper? Common. Yep, there you go. Alright, Cooper, back to you. Oh, the slate is a pronoun? Yeah. Hey, no, it's a noun. It's a noun. It's a common noun. It is, that's a hard one because sometimes I think when we think of um, nouns, we think of things that we can see or touch and you can't 
really do that. That would be more of an abstract. Okay, um, wouldn't that be wouldn't that be labeled as an abstract one then? It could be. You're right, but it's still a common noun. But we can label it abstract because it is abstract, right? All right, Ethan. We got this word not labeled yet, Ethan. Uh, so the would be. Mayor's all crazy in here. Is the describe a site? Yep. So it is an adjective? It is an adjective. It is also what, Ethan? An article. What kind of article? Definite or indefinite? Would it be indefinite? The is always definite. definite because we're not talking about any site, we're talking about the site, right? All right, anything else? Does anybody see anything else we didn't do? We're getting to the little tricky parts. Mia. Um, of what is an adjective, adjective phrase? Describing. At the site. What's well, describing? Site. Site is a noun, so therefore it is an adjective phrase. Emery, do you have your hand up? Who has their hand up back there? Go ahead, give me something. We've got this other prepositional phrase. I thought we, do we have the direct object? Or well, we, the, the we can talk about the direct object. You wanna talk about it? All right, we have an action verb. So we need to be looking to see if there's a direct object. Does it mean we have to have one? No. No, so. First of all, what's the question, Emery, that we would ask ourselves? Who or what did SSSP? Who or what exactly did SSSP? So who or what did the boy faint? Is there a who or what? No. There's a why, right? But not a who or a what. So we do not have a direct object. But we have this other prepositional Phrase. What's it talking about? It's talking about how he fainted. Or why, right? And if it's describing fainted, and fainted is a verb. It's an adverb. It is an adverb phrase. Now, just to help you out, kids, keep in mind that if you have prepositional phrases, they can usually come out of the sentence, right? So can I get rid of this? Can I get rid of this? And can I say the squeamish boy fainted? Yes. Yes, I can. And what kind of sentence is this? What's it doing? Most common one. Declared. Thank you. I see two hands up. It is declarative. All right. Good job. Put it away. 